We're counting down the hottest stories of the week. Two topics down, three to go. But let's pause the countdown for a fast break. Here's a story that got us all buzzing today. The Wall Street Journal says the latest workplace perk, cash bonuses for taking vacations. PricewaterhouseCoopers will pay people to log off. The company will give employees in the U.S. $250 for every full week of vacation booked, up to $1,000 a year. Tim, you're shaking your head. You don't like this idea. It's money to go somewhere, all, to go well, on a vacation. All right, first of all, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the song we just played by the Go-Go's. All right, quick trivia for you. Go-Go's first album or second album, Leslie? Uh, first. It was a 50-50 shot. Second. Uh, anyway, uh, wrong. Right, love the Go-Go's <laughs> vacation. I can name it one boat. But, but look, the, the absurdity of this, look, if you want your employees uh, to be less burned out because they can't get away from the screens at home, bring them back to work. Or, or how about, you know, look, if you told me, uh, go back to the office where you don't have to also deal with, you know, work at home, uh, kids remote learning and all these other things, you know, that actually sounds like a vacation is getting back to the office. So, look, I, <laughs> I think this is absurd. Um, and, and uh, you know, and I, you know, my family's listening somewhere. Um, but uh, I, 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 this is extraordinary. They it's, must have a lot of money to give away or sign me up at PwC. It's amazing what the pandemic can do to our definition of vacation, right, Victoria? Yes. Absolutely. And I think besides just employers not wanting their um, employees to get burnout, they also have to consider if everyone's saving their vacation days because they're working from home and they have nowhere to go, those roll over to next year. And so they might be concerned <laughs> that in 2022, you're going to have people gone all the time from the office. And so there's probably a few reasons, but I do think I need to talk to my CEO at Crossmark and see if this is something <laughs> he would be interested in doing. I think I'd take him up on this one. Maybe he He's watching right now. Delano, Maybe so. it's interesting because it's not, you know, simply just kind of like free cash. PwC gets nothing out of it. It actually is an accounting liability when you have all these days that are accrued that ultimately if these employees leave, they have to pay them out for that. Like it can add up over time. Uh, you know, do you think something like this could be more widespread? That, that's a good question. Um, I do think have a, a different take when it comes to this. So I think it speaks to the new normal we live in. Obviously, the ravaging effects of the pandemic aside, um, I think people actually enjoy sometimes working from home. Uh, if I take an opposite take, one, uh, maybe you could jump on the Peloton or do something, you know, a quick run a quick errand without your boss looking over his shoulder. Uh, two, if you you know you don't have you know Joe and Susie that sit by the bathroom counting how many bathroom breaks you take. Um, so there's a lot of different areas where this might be an advantage, and people are probably saving. Uh, maybe some of that vacation time for when they come back and they want to, you know, the reopening, and they want to get out a little bit. So I have a little different take on that. There, yeah, there are certain vacations you actually want to be taking rather than just, you know, sitting on your couch and watching, you know, more streaming things. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.